Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Let's begin with our math lesson for today. And today we will continue with attributes. But today we will focus on only measurable attributes. What does that mean? Measurable attributes, it means only the attributes that I can measure with them. So measuring length, how tall or how short something is. Measuring weight, how heavy or how light measuring capacity how much something can hold let's start up by watching these videos so we can just understand our new concept for today so look around your room what's the first object you see can you tell me the attributes of that object is it tall or short is it heavy or light how much can it hold? Attributes, like how tall something is, how heavy something is, or how much something holds, can all be measured using tools. We can use connecting cubes to measure length and height. We can use a balance scale to measure weight. We can use a measuring cup to measure capacity, or how much an object can hold. We can say an object is red, but we cannot measure red. An object's color is not a measurable attribute. Let's look at a few objects and identify which attributes can be measured. Here is a feather. Which attributes of this feather can be measured? We can use the cubes to measure its length. We can also use the scale to measure its weight. We cannot use the color wheel to measure its color. What about this milk carton? Which attributes can we measure? We can measure its length and height, weight, and amount it can hold. Which of these tools can we use to measure these attributes? The cubes can be used to measure length and height. The scale can be used to measure weight. The measuring cup can be used to measure how much milk it can hold. Look at this book. Which attributes can be measured? Length, height, weight. Which of these tools can be used to measure? If you said the cubes, you are correct. The other tools cannot be used to measure the attributes of the book. This is Enrique. He says we can measure his height and weight, but there's no way to measure his best attribute, his smile. Marta is looking at this vase. What attributes of the vase could Marta measure? She could measure the height, weight, or capacity of the vase. What does it mean to measure the height of the vase? It means to find how tall the vase is. What does it mean to measure the weight of the vase? It means to find how heavy the vase is. What does it mean to measure the capacity of the vase? It means to find how much the vase holds. Marta is thinking about three tools she can use to measure the vase. Which tool would Marta use to tell about the height of the vase? She would use cubes. Which tool would she use to tell about the weight of the vase? She would use the balance scale. Which tool would she use to tell about the capacity of the vase? She would use the measuring cup. Which attributes of the vase is Marta thinking about now? She is thinking about the color of the vase and what the vase could be used for. Can Marta use any of the tools to tell about these attributes? No, some attributes are not measurable. Look at the flowers. 
The height and weight of the flowers tell about the flowers and can be described with tools. The color and smell of the flowers are attributes that tell about the flowers but cannot be described using the tools. Tools can help us find out some things about an object, but not everything. In the video, we need to use the tools that help us measure. What are the tools that help us measure? The measuring cup helps us measure capacity. The balance helps us measure weight. And the cubes help us measure length. But does the wheel of colors, this wheel of colors, does it help us measure? No, it does not. Let's start here with number two. I have a green pail. What do you think? Can I use the wheel of colors to measure it? Can I use the wheel of colors to measure? No, of course not. I will cross it out. Can I use the balance to measure the weight of the pail? Yes, I can, so I will circle it. Can I use the measuring cup to measure the capacity of the pail? Yes, I can, so I will circle it as well. Now the flower, I have a very nice pink flower here. Can I use the color wheel to measure it? No, I cannot. Can I use the cubes here to measure its length? Yes, I can. Can I use the measuring cup to measure its capacity? Does the flower hold anything? No, it does not, so I cannot use the measuring cup to measure it. Now the paintbrush. I have the color wheel. Can I use a color wheel to, to cut a color? Now the paintbrush. I have a color wheel. Can I use it to measure the paintbrush? No, we do not use color wheels to measure. Can I use the cubes to measure its length? Yes, I can. Can I use the measuring cup to measure its capacity? No, because it does not hold anything. Now, I have a purple bucket of paint. Again, as we said, we cannot use the wheel of colors to measure. We can use the balance to measure its weight. We can use the cubes to measure its length. Now I have a fire truck, a red fire truck. As we said again, we cannot use the color wheel at all. We don't use it as a measuring tool. Can we use the cubes to measure its length? Of course, yes. Can I use the balance to measure its weight? Of course, yes. Okay, now number seven. I have a yellow wagon. Can I use the cubes to measure its length? Yes. Can I use the measuring cup to measure its capacity? Yes, I can because it can hold items. Can I use this color wheel to measure it? No, I cannot. Now, in number eight, I have a color wheel. I have a balance and I have a measuring cup. So the color wheel cannot measure anything. The balance measures weight and the measuring cup measures capacity. Now, what they want from us is to draw a circle around two measuring tools. What are the measuring tools? What are the measuring tools? the balance and the measuring cup the color wheel is not then draw an object that, that you can <clears throat> measure with these tools so i can draw um let's say a fish bowl because it holds water that means capacity and i can measure its weight with the balance 
Number nine, we have to draw an object that can be measured using the tool shown, length. So I can draw a spoon, I can draw a book, and draw an object that cannot be measured using the tool. What cannot be measured using this tool? For, ex for example, I can draw a measuring cup. Okay, <clears throat> and this is our lesson for today. We cannot use the color wheel to measure. Thank you very much.